Hello everybody, this is Kai from Enscape. To create a video in Enscape, simply move to a position in Enscape where you'd like your video to start and click this button here, the Set Start Position button. In Revit it looks like this. And this will determine where your video is going to start. Next, you can move to the location you'd like your video to end. Now, we could click Set Stop Position here right now and this would result in a simple transition between our start and stop locations. Let's see how it'll look by clicking our Preview Video button. However, we can also change a few things to transition during our video. For example, the daytime. So, if you're looking for a nice time-lapse effect, with clouds traveling across the sky during your video, simply change the time between clicking Set Start Position and Set Stop Position and the time will change accordingly. Other sliders that you can change during this video transition would be the Focal Point slider, which appears when Depth of Field is active and Auto Focus is turned off, and the Field of View slider. Both are located in our settings here. Now you can click Preview to see how your video will look like. If you're satisfied at this point, you can already click the Next button, Export Video, which looks like this in Revit, and Enscape will render your video frame by frame. However, there's also a few settings that can be adjusted to export your video the right way. In our Settings, Capture tab here. So, First of all, you might want to change the resolution, for example to 1080p, Full HD. Then you can change the compression quality. This will improve image quality while slightly increasing the resulting video size. This slider will not affect the rendering time. Next you can change the duration. By default it is set to 3 seconds. If you want to have a longer duration, you can dial it up to 20 seconds for example. I'll leave it at about 5 seconds here for the sake of our tutorial. Then you can also change the frames per second. If you wanted to have a 120 frames per second video, that's perfectly fine. Lastly, you can also change the interpolation. So by default, you'll have a linear transition, which has an equal velocity throughout. You can also have a smooth interpolation, which will gain speed at the beginning and lose speed towards the end. Or, if you want to have a shaky handycam effect, you can do so by selecting this option. I'll leave it at smooth here, because that's definitely the one that I prefer. And if we've set our settings accordingly the way we want them to be set, we can click Export Video, select a place where to save it, click Save, and then it'll render our video frame by frame with the following result. That is all you need to know to create a video in Enscape. I hope my tutorial has been helpful. I'd also like to mention that this process of video creation in Enscape will be reworked in one of our upcoming versions. We're currently working on implementing a more complex waypath system. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. See you next time. Goodbye.